We are about to ride the shipyard ride in Belfast, the Titanic Quarter. Thank you. Welcome to the Harland and Wolf Shipyard in Belfast. We're about to drop down into the Arrow Gantry, a 6,000 ton structure over 200 foot high. The gantry has been constructed to house three massive ships being built for the White Star. The ship you can see being built is yard number 401, which will soon be known as RMS Titanic, the largest passenger liner in the world. Titanic's construction begins with a series of pitch pine blocks laid on the slipway. These are stacked about four feet high with angled wedges on top. All these are laid for steel plates which form the ship's hull and the vertical plane. Now we're travelling along the hull on your right towards the bar. Here you can see the steel ribs or frames that make up the skeleton of the ship. These are curved to give the hull its shape and positioned between two and three feet apart. Lowering them into place is a dangerous process until they've been firmly joined up by the horizontal girders called stringers, which lock them in position. Then the shell plates that make up the hull are riveted onto the outside. The ship's frames start out as straight bars. These are heated in a furnace, then hooked out onto slabs of cast iron, where they're hammered into shape against an iron mold. squad consists of three men and two boys. On one side of the plate, the heater boy heats the iron rivets on a portable hull. Using tongs, he throws the rivet to the catch boy, who places it in the hole for the holder up, who holds the rivet head in place with the head of a holding up. See the steel decks being riveted in place. These are not intended to strengthen the ship, but they are rigid enough to resist the force of the hull being hit by high seas. They also arch slightly upwards, so the water falling onto them will drain overboard. At the stern of the ship, we pass over the massive castings that will support Titanic's rudder. These frames have to be enormously strong to withstand the force of the rudder turning in heavy seas. Near 
any launch day. Titanic's enormous weight will soon be transferred from the supporting box to the launch ways that will slide with the ship into the sea. The launch ways have been greased with an inch of tallow and oil. Workmen will shortly risk serious injury by knocking away vertical wooden props on the compression beneath the hull. At the moment of launch, the sliding ways will be released by hydraulic rams. It's the evening of the 30th of May, 1911. Tomorrow, Harland and Wolf will launch Titanic, the heaviest object ever moved by man. Up to 100,000 people will gather on the banks of the River Lagan to watch. The Arl Gantry has been decked out with signal flags spelling good luck. And tonight, the whole city is celebrating the pride of Belfast. Joining us here today at Harland and Wolf, builder of the world's most elegant ships for the White Star Line. The tour will end in a few seconds. Please exit the car carefully and make sure you don't leave any personal possessions behind. We look forward to seeing you again. That's it.